life. It can be quite the test, don't you think? Each morning as the sun graces the daybreak, we are faced with a completely new set of obstacles to conquer. A fresh batch of decisions to ponder over, challenges in the form of a flat tire, a broken relationship, a career setback, a missed deadline, all demanding a piece of our attention. Welcome to the core of self-improvement channel. It feels like navigating an intricate maze where every turn, every choice can either lead us to a frustrating dead end or a promising new pathway. Stick around till the end of this video and you'll discover how to turn life's challenges into for growth and transformation. For some of us, this labyrinth of life can be exceedingly daunting. It feels as if the walls are incrementally but persistently closing in and every turn, every decision leads only to another dead end. The workload in the office, the pressure to succeed, the constant scrutiny of social media, it feels as if the weight of the entire cosmos rests on their shoulders. In the midst of this struggle, this tussle with life, they might find themselves focusing on the negatives, the obstacles, the hurdles, that become a central point, an obsession. But is that all there is to life? Is it just a sequence of relentless challenges and insurmountable hardships? Or could it be that the flat tire was an opportunity to learn skill, the broken relationship freeing toxic patterns, the career setback opening new doors, the missed deadline us the importance of time management? Life indeed is an intricate tapestry, meticulously woven with threads of joy, triumph and defeat, love and loss. Every thread holds adding depth and nuance to the overarching design. When we focus solely on the, the hardships, to see the beauty in the ordinary moments, the joy in the small victories, the growth growth in overcoming challenges. It's all too easy to dwell on the negatives, the hardships and challenges life throws at. But life, this voyage we're all a part is so much more than that. It's a blend of human emotions and experiences woven together the fabric of our existences. It's a journey filled with highs and lows, victories and defeats, laughter and tears, love and loss. So let's pause, let's a step back and ask ourselves, is life really all bad or is it just a matter of where we focus our attention? Rather than just existing, let's live life. Let's focus on the positives, the victories, the moments of, of, of joy and love. Let's embrace life with all its ups and downs because life, after all, is about perspective. It's about where we choose to focus our attention, what we choose to give importance to. Life, it can, can be a real challenge, can't it? But it's a challenge worth embracing, a journey worth embarking on. So let's ask ourselves again, is life really all bad or is it just a matter of where we focus our attention? Where is your attention right now? Is it on the negatives or the positives? This is a crucial question to ask ourselves. Our focus, the spotlight of our consciousness, is a powerful tool that can reshape our reality. It influences not only how we perceive our surroundings, but also our interactions, experiences, and emotions. All our experiences are interpreted through the lens of our focus. Consider this. The human brain is such a magnificent organ that it tends to prioritize and notice more of what we concentrate on. This phenomenon is similar to when you invest in a new car, and then you start seeing that same model everywhere. You may wonder, have these cars always been there? In reality, the vehicles were always there. It's just that now, your focus has been drawn to them, rendering them more visible to you. This principle is not just applicable to the physical world, it extends to our thoughts and emotions too. Imagine your focus as a magnifying glass. Wherever you direct it, it amplifies. Does it enlarge the negatives, the challenges, or the flaws in our lives? If our focus is constantly zoomed in on the negatives, life, without a doubt, seems filled with obstacles. But let's pause and contemplate. What if we could shift this focus? Could we use this magnifying instrument to highlight the positives instead? This shift is not an act of denial or pretense that negatives do not exist. It's about a conscious decision not to let them overshadow our thoughts entirely. It's about recognizing the goodness that coexists with the not-so-pleasant aspects of life. It involves cherishing those small joys, minor victories, and tranquil moments amidst life's turbulence. It's about identifying the opportunities cleverly concealed within challenges, the lessons embedded within failures. Shifting focus is not a simple task. It doesn't occur instantly. It's a habit that needs nurturing, a muscle that requires regular exercise, and it's, it's a skill that can be perfected. The benefits derived from it are significant, even life transforming. So, the central question is, how do we enact this shift in focus? How do we condition our minds to perceive the proverbial glass as half full rather than half empty? The answer commences with awareness. 
It starts with realizing our concentration is drifting, noticing when we start to descend into a cyclone of negativity, and gently guiding our thoughts back to the positives. It involves practicing gratitude, celebrating our victories, regardless of their scale, and maintaining a positive mindset. Moreover, it involves utilization of visualization techniques, where you imagine yourself successfully handling situations and achieving your goals. It's about learning to reframe our thoughts to view challenges as opportunities for growth and failures as stepping stones to success. Shifting your focus can change life, but how can you do it? Tuned as we delve deeper into this subject in the next segment, outlining practical techniques and effective strategies like visualization and reframing to train your mind towards positivity. Before we delve deeper into our journey, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge you, our viewers. This channel's growth and success wouldn't be possible without your support. If you're finding value in this content, enjoying the exploration of these life-altering concepts, kindly take a moment to like this video. Your likes, comments, and shares fuel our motivation and enable us to reach more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribing ensures that you don't miss out on any future content that could potentially be the catalyst for positive change in your life. And while you're at it, why not hit the notification bell so you're always the first to know when we drop a new video? Lastly, we'd love to hear from you. Comment down below about your experiences with shifting focus. What challenges are you facing? What techniques are you employing? Are you noticing any changes in your perspective? Your insights could be the spark that ignites change in someone else's life. Remember, we're in this together. We're a community. Let's support each other, grow together, and make a significant impact. Now let's dive back into our exploration of shifting focus. Are you focusing on your abilities, or are you hampered by your perceived limitations? This fundamental question can shed light on your overall outlook on life. Is it about what's happening to you that matters, or how you're interpreting it? How do you view the obstacles in your life? Do you see them as insurmountable barriers or as opportunities for growth and transformation? The question also extends to your inner desires and ambitions. Where is your attention directed, towards your dreams or towards things you fear? It's a curious observation, but more often than not, we spend a lot of our time worrying about things we want to avoid rather than pursuing what we truly want. If you find yourself stuck in this dilemma, ask yourself why? Is it fear, doubt, or perhaps a lack of confidence? Recognizing these feelings is the first step in overcoming them. Now let's dive deeper into your emotional landscape. Where is your focus? On the emotions you want to feel or the ones you're scared to experience? Emotions play a crucial role in our journey. They guide our actions and reactions. They can either uplift us or bring us down. Thus, it's imperative to be aware of your emotions and their underlying triggers. If your focus is constantly on negative emotions, it can significantly affect your overall attitude towards life. Another introspective question to consider is, where are you in your life right now, and where do you envision yourself in the future? Are you satisfied with your current situation? If not, what's holding you back from reaching your desired destination? Is it a lack of resources, lack of time, lack of motivation, or perhaps a fear of failure? These are all valid concerns, but they shouldn't stop you from chasing your dreams. These worries and fears might seem overwhelming, but they're just temporary stages that can be surpassed with patience, determination, and resilience. Let's not forget, the journey is as important as the destination. Every step you take, every challenge you overcome, is a lesson learned, a skill acquired, a memory created. Your experiences, good or bad, significantly shape the person you've become. The key is to focus on the positives, on the opportunities, and on growth rather than dwelling on the negatives, the obstacles, and the failures. Can you replace I can't with I can, I won't with I will, I don't want with I want? It's all about shifting your perspective, your mindset, and ultimately, your focus. Have you thought about what brings you the most joy? What is it that fuels your passion? How much time are you dedicating to things that truly matter to you? Are you mindful of the present or constantly worried about the future? How are your relationships affecting your outlook on life? Are they nurturing your growth or holding you back? These questions, while straightforward, are designed to ignite thought and foster self-reflection. They're meant to help you reassess your focus in life. Remember, your focus determines your reality. If you're not satisfied with your current reality, it might be time to reconsider your focus. By pondering and responding to these questions, you can kickstart the process of shifting your focus. What if you could do what you thought you couldn't do? The potential of this idea is remarkable, truly transformative. 
Picture the endless opportunities that would arise if you had the ability to break away from the constraints of your perceived limitations. It's not merely about dreaming big, it's about taking those big dreams and molding them into a tangible reality. This is where the incredible power of acquiring new skills comes into play. When we venture down the path of learning, we experience growth. Let's say you've always wanted to write a novel but believe that you didn't have the creativity to do so. Imagine picking up a writing course and slowly but surely weaving a world with your words. Or you could have always been afraid of public speaking. But what if you took a course and gradually became the keynote speaker at a prestigious event? As we grow and evolve by learning new skills, we become better versions of ourselves. This evolution entails stepping out of our comfort zones and stepping into a universe of endless possibilities. This is the fundamental principle of a growth mindset, an unshakable faith that we can foster our abilities through sheer dedication, relentless effort, and the right kind of learning. Learning new skills is not simply about adding another achievement to your resume. Imagine being able to fix your own car because you took up a mechanics course or being able to paint your own home after learning about colors and techniques. It's about challenging your preconceived notions about what you're capable of and what you're not. Imagine a skill you've always aspired to master. Perhaps it's playing a musical instrument, speaking a foreign language fluently, or developing a computer program. Or perhaps it's something simpler like cooking a gourmet meal, fixing a leaky faucet, or even mastering a complex yoga pose. Or imagine being able to take stunning photographs after taking a photography course or being able to brew your own beer after learning the craft. Regardless of the complexity, it's within your grasp. With each new skill you acquire, you're not only becoming a more proficient individual, but you're also becoming a more confident one. Learning new skills is akin to unlocking a door to a room filled with valuable treasures. Each skill you learn is a valuable gem, a testament gem, a testament to your ability to push past your limitations and discover your true potential. And the most exciting part? There's always another door waiting to be unlocked, another skill waiting to be mastered. Maybe you'll learn to fly a plane next, or perhaps you'll learn to sail a boat. Each new skill is another treasure waiting to be discovered. So dare to challenge the voice in your head that says, I can't. Replace it with a more empowering that says, I can and I will. Give yourself the freedom to grow and explore. Remember, it's not about striving to be the best, it's about striving to be better than you were the day before. As you embark on the adventure of learning new skills, you will realize that it's not just about gaining knowledge, it's about transforming your life. Learning new skills can empower you to change your life. So what are you waiting for? Start today and unlock the power within you. Each step you take is a step towards a better, brighter future. So take the leap, take the risk, challenge yourself, and watch as you grow and evolve in ways you never imagined possible. Sometimes wisdom comes from unexpected places. Today we embark on a journey to uncover wisdom hidden in the profound words shared by a few extraordinary minds who have navigated life's adversities and emerged stronger. We'll venture through a plethora of thoughts, quotes, and poetry that will not only enlighten our minds, but resonate with our inner selves. We initiate this enlightening journey with a gripping quote from a highly esteemed philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche. During his lifetime he bestowed upon us profound wisdom, one such insightful thought being, to live is to suffer, to survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. This this quote is a profound reflection of life's complexities, illustrating that suffering is a part of life, an undeniable truth that we all must face. However, within this suffering, we can seek and uncover purpose, meaning, and most importantly, wisdom. It invites us to shift our focus from the suffering itself to the invaluable lessons and growth that can spring from it. It educates us that suffering is not an end, but a path to self-discovery and growth. As we journey further, we encounter an inspirational quote from the renowned author J.K. Rowling who said, Rock bottom became the solid foundation on which I rebuilt my life. These words serve as a beacon of hope in adversity, a potent reminder that even at our lowest, our experiences can provide a solid foundation. It prompts us to refocus, gather our strength, and concentrate on what truly matters. We also bring you the hopeful words of Helen Keller. Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. This quote is a powerful reminder that even in the midst of immense suffering, there is always room for triumph and overcoming adversity. It encourages us to shift our perspective, focusing not on the suffering but on our ability to overcome it. 
Next, we pivot from quotes to the more rhythmical and lyrical world of poetry. We commence with a soul-stirring poem by Emily Dickinson. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops stops at all. This poem beautifully emphasizes that even amid despair, hope can constantly be found within us. It is this silent song that propels us forward, fueling determination and helping us shift our focus from despair to infinite possibilities. Let our journey continue through the specialized world of Japanese poetry known as haiku. We explore a brief yet yet intensely significant haiku by Matsuo Basho. Life's road is yet even in the winter, a flower blooms. This haiku serves as a metaphorical mirror reflecting resilience. Like a flower blooming in the harsh winter, we too can bloom life's trials. It urges us to shift our attention from the difficulties to the beauty and strength within us that can flourish in any circumstance. Let's further enrich our journey with a powerful poem by Maya Angelou, Still I Rise. This is a testament to the sheer resilience of the human spirit. It reminds us that despite setbacks, we possess the strength to rise again, to refocus our energies, and to continue our journey with renewed vigor. The wisdom embedded in these quotes and poems is a potent reminder that life isn't about denying or avoiding difficulties, but about finding the strength and hope within them. These words of wisdom can illuminate our paths, reminding us to shift our perspectives when life gets tough. Remember, it's not about denying hardships, but about finding the strength and hope within them. Shifting attention is more than just a fleeting act of the mind. It's an essential wisdom, a virtue that can shape your life in profound ways. The wisdom lies in understanding your mind's power, the ability to control what gets your attention and what doesn't. This control of the mind's spotlight allows you to focus on certain thoughts and tone down others. It's not merely about avoiding negative thoughts or aspects of life. It's about embracing positivity and making it the center of your mental universe. The effects of this shift in attention are not just temporary mood boosters. They are potent catalysts for personal growth and transformation. The virtue of shifting attention is not about ignoring or suppressing negative emotions, but acknowledging them, feeling them, and not allowing them to consume you. By refocusing your attention, your attention, you choose to look beyond the negatives and seek the silver lining in every situation. You choose to perceive the glass as full rather than half empty. But how can this act of shifting attention become a virtue? Virtues are admirable qualities that we strive to embody, guiding our actions and molding our character. When practiced with intention consistency, shifting attention from negatives to positives can indeed become a virtue. It requires a conscious commitment to maintaining a positive mindset, actively searching for the good in every situation, and finding joy in the most mundane. This doesn't imply that you ignore life's challenges or suppress negative emotions. On the contrary, you acknowledge them, face them bravely, but refuse to let them control you. You focus the lessons they offer and the growth they stimulate. This approach leads to a healthier, more fulfilling life, where setbacks are stepping stones to success and difficulties are opportunities for growth. Cultivating this skill, like any virtue, requires practice and patience. It is no easy task to divert your attention from negatives to positives, especially during challenging times. However, the rewards are immeasurable. It can infuse your, your life with joy, peace, and fulfillment. It encourages grace, resilience, and optimism even in the face of adversity, turning obstacles into opportunities for growth and learning. Learning. Shifting your attention is not just a wise act, it's a virtue. It paves the way to a more positive, enriching life. It's a journey worth undertaking, a virtue worth fostering. Thinking about embarking on a journey of transformation, you might ask? Let's explore a range of powerful methods and techniques that can assist you in redirecting your focus from the negatives to the positives, resulting in a more balanced and healthier life perspective. First off, we have mindfulness. Based on numerous Eastern philosophies, this practice has been gaining steady popularity in the Western world. It's the art of bringing your complete attention to the present moment, devoid of any judgment. It empowers you to live in the now and accept life as it comes, embracing both its wins and losses. By diligently practicing mindfulness, you enhance your ability to thoughtfully respond to situations instead of just instinctively reacting to them. It can provide a refreshing view on life's hurdles, helping helping you perceive them not as obstructions, but as opportunities for personal development. Next in line, we have positive affirmations. These aren't mere words. 
but robust declarations you consciously choose to repeat to yourself. They serve as a connection between your unconscious and conscious thought process, encouraging positivity and self-empowerment. By saying things like, I am capable of handling whatever comes my way, you can effectively reorient your mindset towards self-confidence and assurance. In the same vein, consider journaling. This can be an effective tool to process your thoughts and emotions. By writing down your experiences, you can gain a clearer understanding of yourself and your reactions, making it easier to navigate through life's ups and downs. Let's not forget self-reflection. By taking time out to contemplate on your actions, feelings, and desires, you can gain a deeper comprehension of your true self. This introspection can guide you in aligning your actions with your values and goals. Then we have cognitive restructuring. This technique involves identifying and challenging negative thought patterns, replacing them with more positive and beneficial ones. This be a powerful method to transform your inner dialogue. Lastly, we address gratitude practices. More than just expressing thanks, this involves deeply acknowledging the good in your life, regardless of its magnitude. By integrating gratitude in your daily routine, you can shift your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant. Remember, these techniques are not magical solutions for immediate change. They need consistent practice, persistence, and dedication. But with continuous effort, they can significantly assist in shifting your focus from the negatives to the positives, offering a fresher, more optimistic outlook on life. The potential to transform your perception rests within you. It may not always be a cakewalk and it may require challenging deep-rooted beliefs and facing fears, but it's undoubtedly worth the effort. So why not give these methods a go? You might just be astonished how your perspective of life can change. With these techniques, you can begin to redirect your focus and transform your perception. Looking for more ways to shift your focus? Let's delve deeper into a selection of strategies, techniques, and resources that have been proven to boost your concentration and improve your outlook on life. Start by developing a reading habit. The field of self-improvement and personal growth is saturated with an extensive array of books. We've managed to narrow down to a few compelling ones that have made a significant impact on countless individuals. First on our list is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. This transformative work simplifies the concept of living in the here and now. Next up is Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. This profound book delves into the author's experiences in Nazi concentration camps, highlighting the importance of finding purpose in life. Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Carol S. Dweck is another gem. In this book, Dweck accentuates the significance of nurturing a growth mindset for success. Two other must-reads include Drive the Surprising Truth About What Motivates Us by Daniel H. Pink, which explores the power of intrinsic motivation, and Atomic Habits by James Clear which offers practical strategies for habit formation and breaking. In addition to reading, delve into the world of psychology. Cognitive behavioral therapy, commonly known as CBT, is a highly beneficial tool. There are many online courses and resources on platforms like Coursera and Khan Academy that can help you understand and implement strategies. Positive psychology, often termed as the scientific study of happiness, inspires us to focus on the bright side of life. Many universities offer free online courses on this topic like the popular The Science of Well-Being from Yale University. Now let's discuss spirituality. Techniques such as mindfulness and meditation are universal. Apps like Headspace and Calm provide guided sessions and resources to help you practice mindfulness and meditation. However, remember that the journey to shift your focus isn't just about absorbing the knowledge from these resources. It's about incorporating these principles into your daily routine. Make them an integral part of your identity. Wake up every morning with the intent to focus on positivity, confront challenges, and the joys of life. Remember, the journey to shift your focus is a continuous process, not a one-time event. With a blend of patience, perseverance, and a positive mindset, you'll soon find that even when life is tough, it can still be pretty amazing. So does life really suck or is it just a matter of where we focus our attention? As we bring this enlightening journey to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the main insights we've explored. Remember, life is akin to a baseball game, something which reminds me of a story. During a game, a player named Sam was faced with nothing but curveballs. Initially, he struggled, hitting none of them. However, he didn't let discouragement overtake him. Instead, he shifted his focus, studied the way the curveballs were thrown, and practiced until he began hitting them. This is life throwing curveballs at us, and it's up to us how we respond. 
The beauty of life is not in avoiding these curveballs, but in how we perceive and respond to them. We can either watch them pass by, or like Sam, we can adjust our focus and hit a home run. When life seems to be throwing nothing but curveballs, it's the best time to shift your focus. For instance, consider the renowned scientist Thomas Edison. Despite his countless failed attempts at inventing the light bulb, he reframed he reframed his mindset and chose to see each failure not as a defeat, but as a step closer to success. This shift in perspective is what differentiates between a life that sucks and a life that's enriching and fulfilling. We also highlighted the importance of introspection, of asking ourselves questions. Consider the story of a mountaineer who faced an insurmountable mountain. Instead of focusing on the challenges, he asked himself, how can I make this climb possible? Questions act as a compass, guiding you towards a more productive, healthy, and positive life. We emphasized the power of learning new skills, something that Benjamin Franklin, a polymath and a founding father of America knew well. He once said, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Armed with this belief, he mastered numerous fields, proving that that with the right mindset and a willingness to learn, you can take any obstacle and reframe it into an opportunity for growth and learning. We also ventured into the world of quotes, poems, and metaphors, each offering a unique perspective on our central theme of shifting focus. These literary gems echo the story of a photographer who said that the key to capturing the perfect shot wasn't just about the, the subject, but more about how he chose to focus his lens. The wisdom and virtue of shifting attention were touched upon, accepting that life has ups and downs, like the story of the bamboo tree that bends but doesn't break in the face of a storm, symbolizing resilience, is an essential part of living a fulfilling life. We also shared techniques and suggestions to shift your focus from negative to positive, reminiscent of the story of two gardeners. Both had the same plot of land but one focused on the weeds, the other on the blooming flowers. It was evident who had a more beautiful garden. In conclusion, remember that life is a blend of good and bad, joy and sorrow, triumphs and trials. Just like story of a man who found a precious gem in a pile of rocks, it's all about where we choose to focus. Life is full of challenges, but with the right focus, we can overcome them. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this.